Hello. Uh, today I want to show how ChatGPT can help uh, PO. Uh, we have quite specific uh, task in our company. We want to implement uh, category manager. Uh, it contains from two parts, brand category manager and site category manager. Uh, we have a very draft PRD, which is still on step of investigation and so on discussion. So uh, let's check. Uh, I uh, asked ChatGPT to act as PO. Uh, I sent him draft of uh, story and uh, we have some dilemmas uh, how we need to implement uh, product rules and product sorting uh, inside these uh, categories. So I provide him uh, uh, base description of the story and uh, ask provide ideas to how uh, this product rules and product sorting mechanism can be implemented. I described his this problem and ask him. So what he responds, he responds that it can be uh, created in different ways, uh, use machine learning algorithm and custom rules, pinned product, uh, we can exclude product, product boosting, drag and drop, integration with third party tools, like DoFinder for example, <laughs> by the way we are using it. Um, okay, uh, then I asked what machine learning algorithm can be used, provide examples. So he provides examples, collaborative filtering, content-based filtering, and so on, decision trees. Uh, so quite interesting. This idea was not even discussed, uh, as I remember. Uh, but for now, uh, let's move to custom rules. Uh, our initial idea was actually in custom rules. Uh, so uh, I put him this note from his text and ask to how this engine can be implemented. And he described me how, wh what, what exact mechanism can be used. But because we discussed before that uh, about machine learning algorithm, he provided some uh, information uh, regarding to machine learning. Because of that, I said, let's not use machine learning. I want to create custom rules, which rules can be used based on best practices. And he provided uh, quite common rules, sales performance, customer reviews, product attributes, custom rules, manual sorting. Actually, it's based rules used on any e-commerce project. So quite interesting that he knows it and uh, understands that we, we need at least to implement them, yes. Uh, now uh, I asked how we can differentiate it for brand category manager and separately for site category manager uh, because brand contains several sites what should be on brand level what on site level and it provides the difference so in brand level we should have master rules uh, the brand category manager should be able to ensure consistency across all sites with the brand it should be optimized um, and on site level it should be custom some customization, localization and a variety of master rules. Great. Uh, now I ask him what are possible user flows for category management from brand level category manager and it creates me possible user flows. I ask to create more flows, it's creating more flows, as continue it creates even more. And uh, by the way, quite quite clear uh, user flows as for me. Uh, so I ask him to create a lucid chart diagram for each flow. Uh, our company use it, so why not? Let's try. But he says that uh, he's sorry he can't uh, create it. Uh, but I know that he can <laughs> in a bit different way. But uh, I continue to ask him create steps and which exact blocks I should use for creation user flow for each flow. Uh, it start to create me a bit 
different from I want. It's uh, about uh, brand level category management, but I want uh, it for user flows. He described it me before. Uh, so I become more specific, uh, create steps and uh, which exact blocks I should use for creation of user flows in Lucid chart, Lucid chart for this flow, and uh, copy paste this one flow, and it create me instruction how exactly I should do it in Lucid chart, which block I should use, start block, decision block, process block, input output block. It's cool, yes. So it's uh, even show me a visual representation in the text. Uh, now I ask him to create a flow for another uh, Lucy chart diagram for another flow, and it also create uh, it uh, by the way condition yes from yes it will be this from no it will be this and so on. Okay, uh, after that uh, I have to return to site level and what should be implemented there, which flows should be used. He remember our dialogue so he knows what exactly we are talking about uh, and it describe me flows, possible flows. Uh, so I asked him bef uh, one time more and uh, now I asked how exactly I can edit categories which fields should be there in scope of product sorting. Uh, so it described me in general uh, how which fields should be edited in category, but uh, again I am go deeper and ask to more specific thing. I want to manage certain rules in brand manager, but how they can be used on site level. Uh, it uh, described me a bit. Uh, and next time tried to create stories for brand category manager. It created me eight user stories. Uh, I asked more, but it becomes created the same. So uh, I asked to decompose one of the sort story to subtasks. Uh, and it decompose it, uh, but uh, I'm not mentioned that this uh, task should be for developers, <laughs> and uh, it's decomposed to some strange uh, way, so it's not clear for me. So I uh, reasked it him, uh, create detailed described user story for this story. It will be used for developers and QA, created based on best practices and uh, name of user story and it create me user story user story and there it's uh, quite common definition I want uh, one of the point to be described more yes so the brand category manager should be able to say it uh, not initial uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the brand category man should be able to set custom sorting rules for the category based on product attribute sales performance consumer review etc so I asked to create well described story for this point it becomes create me this user story yes uh, but again possible custom rules what is speech uh, just custom sorting rules without details. So let's go deeper. Describe possible custom rules based on e-commerce best practice. Again, it describes me product popularity, price, rating, availability, newsness, re relevance, uh, custom attributes. Okay, so rewrite user story using this info. Uh, it uh, rewrite, but really in strange way. Uh, I don't understand what he did here, so I put uh, user story, I try to ask him in the different way, yes, so I put user story, full user story which he write me before, uh, and uh, ask to include these requirements to the story, and uh, mentioned these points he provided me before, this one. And after that uh, I have full user story 
these uh, criteria which described each rules. Uh, of course, we can go deeper uh, for each point to describe it more details, how it should be done, and so on. Uh, but it's uh, not part of my work. I'm just showing you example how it could be. Yes. Uh, now I try to work as <laughs> a bit uh, QA. <laughs> I ask to create a possible test case for it, and it creates uh, a lot of test cases for each point. Again, we can go deeper, extend, and so on. So actually I spent uh, around 20 minutes to do it, but for PO, for experienced PO who knows how to uh, generate correct uh, answers and so on, and uh, if he will work the whole day with this tool, it will be amazing, it will be full described story with a lot of possible ways with not forgotten some details, with some ideas uh, taken from ChatGPT and so on. So it's it's amazing. And uh, uh, as a result, we have uh, new ideas about uh, a new algorithm, what, what we can use. We have ideas what exactly should be done on brand level, on site level. Uh, we know what exact uh, mechanism we can use and uh, we can even have uh, test cases and subtask for developers implemented by PO, guys, by PO. Of course, it should be uh, monitored uh, and uh, reviewed, yes, but in general, it's a whole place of work which uh, can be done for months of <laughs> your work or on the day work with uh, GPT. So you should use it. <laughs> so that's uh, all that I want to show you in this video. It's uh, a real project of a real company and uh, uh, I really think that we can use it in our processes, we can give it to our POs and uh, it will increase performance, performance of the whole com company. Thank you for the watching this video. Bye.